Okay, hi, I am Jitendra. Today we will going to see how to develop or how to write API using RAML. So we will going to use any point platform to write a API. What is a RAML? RAML is nothing. It's a language. What is RAML? It's a language for writing your RESTful APIs. So RAML is stand for RESTful API Modeling Language. Fine. So okay. So let me start. Uh, what is the advantage of RAML? We're going to see. And what demo we will going to do today? I'm going to show you. So we have. We will going to write a. Uh, API for book and author. So for book, like uh, we will write some method to retrieve the uh, list of the book. You know, like to add the book, to retrieve the book on the basis of query parameters and URI param. We will going to add authors. We will going to retrieve list of authors. So we are going to see all these operations today. So one minute. Uh, let me go to my any point platform. So first thing, I will say add new API. I will give a API name. So I will say book service API. I will give version 1.0. API endpoint and description are not compulsory. They are optional field. You don't have to fill anything. Okay. Say add. Once you add, it will okay. It will create a book service API for you. And you right click on define API in API manager. So this will open ID for you. So here you can actually write your API in the middle section. You can start writing your API. On the left hand side, you can see the file name of your RAML. On the right hand side, it will generate the documentation. When you start writing your API, it will generate a documentation for each and every resource you are you are adding into your RAML. So, what is the advantage of this documentation? This documentation is very easy to read. Okay, once your API is ready, you can publish your API on the portal. So what will happen? The whole documentation will get published in the portal. So whenever you give access to a third party or any developer, okay, that that can okay, the developer and that third party can easily read which API is doing what, okay, how to implement, how to consume, what are the message format, what are the response, you know, expectation, and all those things. Everything will be present in the documentation. That's why it is very powerful. RAML is one of the powerful for writing a API. So let me start. Defining my resource, first I will say book, I will put colon, I will press enter, I will say tab. Under book, I want two methods, get and post. Okay. So you can see like your document start generating on the right hand side. Slash book, book is a resource and you can see there is a two method, I define post and get. Now I will define for get is when we send a request. So, okay. So what we require, we want a list of book written from the so here when we will going to send a request get request it will return collection of the book so for that uh, i have to define like responses what you expecting this responses i am expecting 200 what what are you expecting i was expecting application okay it's not this xml i will change it to json fine now you can define example or scheme i will say example I will put pipe here and press enter and okay. And now you can write your RAML. Okay, I will say title. This is my example. Under book title, I will say data science. Okay, I will say comma. I will say author. I will say James. Comma. I will say year of publication. I will say 2005, comma. I will say most important cost. I will say 4000. This is my one. I will put one more entry. I will just copy. So it will it will return me a collection of books. Okay. I will close it. I will change some author and costing. I will say book title. Hadoop guide author. I will change it to Joseph. I will change publication year 2008. Costing is 3000. Fine. Right? Here you see, like you have to put one tab, it should be below the example. Fine. Right? If you go to get method, you will see your documentation is generated. See, this is my example. Okay, this is the you know, response format 
okay you can see everything what is the body it should be application json it will generate documentary now i want to post request first you have to send some message so press tab and say body what body you will going to send you will say i will say application json and say example i put pipe after example i put enter and tab so let me copy this i will send one request at a time and paste it here okay press enter yes okay fine so you define your example okay now once you define the example now you have to define the response also so response what should be response i will say 202 what should be a body i am expecting application json what should be the example put a pipe enter and say message book edit success fully and the bracket i will say not really fine here you have to put one tab okay these are the two method we have already defined fine you can see post now you can see everything like this is my request example this is a response everything you can see everything here now we have defined the book and uh, book uh, book with two method get and post but now i want to retrieve a data on basis of you know like book title and some query parameter what we can do so let me do think let me do one thing let me close this first let me press enter let me go okay you have to define okay below the book okay one level below the book so i will say slash i will say book title okay i will say this okay. enter i will say tab under book title i can define method get i will say enter tab i will define some query parameter fine under query parameter i will define uh year i want book on the basis of year publication enter tab you can define display name enter you can define description you can define example for that query parameter you can define required you can define type you can define okay these are the parameter you can define fine let me define it's a year what is your display name display name should be yop what is description year of publication example 2010 required true type i will say string okay you define your query parameter now you have to define the response so go it should be in the same line with the query parameter so you can see responses what response you want 200 okay what should be the body it should be application json example i will put pipe enter so i will use same example so let me copy this control c okay this is my example okay, i have done with this also now i want to define author so i will say slash authors author i press enter i will say tab can there i have done a mistake i have to put a colon okay i define the author resource under author i have to define two method that is get and post see so you can see the documentation there are three url you know this is top one after top the slash book slash book title slash book slash author so let me define the get method so under get i will say tab i want response i want 200 i want uh, body in application json format i will say example i will put pipe press enter i will say tab now i will say author okay i will say author what is the author i will say they in the i will say take it 
I will say number of books. You will say two. I put comma. I can define multiple. I break it, lose it. Two number of book. Ten. So you have defined. the get method now we will define the post method so for post first we want a body we want application json we want example we will put pipe okay now we will define example i will simply copy this only okay i have defined that enter now i will define the response in the same light with the body response fine I will say 202. I will define body, application JSON, example. I put pipe, enter, tab. One minute, not tab. So let me copy this one, this message. Author, edit successfully. Okay. So what we have defined, like uh, in book, we have two method, post and get. Slash book, slash book title. We have get method. Slash book, slash both. We have a post and get. We will going to test it. So first thing, okay, you need to enable this mocking service. Otherwise, it will not give option to try it. So enable this mocking service. Okay, first go to get. Now try it. Just say get. So you can see your status is 200. Okay, and you got a response back. Fine. We will try with some other method. Now I will try with post. I will say post. Okay. It will give 202, and it give a response. Book edit successfully, not really. Now I will say with book slash book title. Here I will say try it. So it was expecting one book title. I will say data science. Here it was expecting one query parameter, which is to this is taken by default. I will keep it as it is. I will just say get. So it give 200 okay, and it give me a book. Fine, a response back. Similarly, we have we can test for you know like uh, for author also. Okay. So once you have done, you save it. Go back to your API manager. So you have done with your uh, API, okay, API design and API development. So once you have done, so you can publish to the portal. So click create new portal. Okay, it has been published. Now go to view portal. Okay, it will take you to the portal. And now you have to, you can put text here. Uh, this is book API. And go checkbox here and say set to visible. Make it public or private depending on your choice. So I will make it public. And now I will say live portal. Okay, here you can see your API reference. Fine. And you can see all, all, all your documentation, everything for you. You can try it from here itself. Say get. Okay, I will say try it. Here I will say something. I will say get. You got a response back, you say 200. Okay, okay, so this is very simple to design or write an API using Ramal and your AnyPoint API manager. Okay, thanks for watching video. If you like it, just subscribe to my video.